Nothing screams game day louder than chicken wings. Whether you're cooking them at the stadium or at your home, you know that standing around the deep fryer, cooking wings in batches is time consuming. These eight wings alone, when I put them into the deep fryer, are gonna take 13 minutes to cook. That's longer than WHVL gives me to do this entire segment. Today, my game plan is to show you how to make my seriously easy, seriously crispy, oven fried chicken wings for a crowd without compromise. Let's get started. Pyrrhus will tell you there's no substitute for deep fried chicken wings. I used to think that too. We all know they were invented at the Anchor Bar in Buffalo, New York by a late night customer looking for pub grub. That's history and I respect it. That said, chicken wings have enough internal and external fat to cook up really crispy in the oven, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm putting two dozen, that's about four pounds of chicken wings, in a bowl that has a tablespoon and a half of salt in the bottom of it, and the trick is to toss them not only with salt, but with a tablespoon of baking powder. Now to make a long story short, there's going to be a chemical process here. And what happens is, when I put these wings on this tray, I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator overnight to air dry. And the salt and the baking powder are going to draw the excess liquids and fats from the wings and the skin to the surface which means when they go into the oven, the liquid is going to evaporate really fast and it's going to make the chicken wings super crispy. Once they're evenly coated in the baking powder and uh, salt mixture, I'm just laying them flat side by side on a rack in a baking pan. And what I'm gonna do is put these in the refrigerator overnight to air dry for the same reason I told you before. It's going to make draw the juices to the surface of the wings. So I've swapped out here today. I did a batch last night, and these are ready for the oven, and I'm just gonna put them in at 475 degrees for about 55 minutes. I can't call my wings buffalo wings because they're not deep fried. I can sauce them authentically. And that requires two things, hot sauce for tossing and blue cheese dressing for dipping. My hot sauce isn't even really a recipe. It's just a mixture of red hot and honey because I like it sweet and savory. But my blue cheese sauce is really special and I'm gonna make that now while my wings are finishing up in the oven. My buttermilk blue cheese and chive dressing is really special and I serve it with a lot of things. It is sour cream, a half a cup, and of course, like a lot of salad dressings, mayonnaise, a half a cup. Just gonna quickly stir those two together. And I'm going to add a half a cup of buttermilk. Tangy, wonderful buttermilk. stirred together. Now I've got a teaspoon of cayenne pepper sauce and a teaspoon of Worcestershire. And once that's pretty well blended, it is time for my spices. And there's quite a few of them going in here. I've got garlic powder and onion powder, minced garlic and minced onion, celery seed, sugar, salt, black pepper, and uh, white pepper. these all incorporated. It's time for the star of the show, 
blue cheese, a good helping of it. That's a whole cup, a generous cup. And for some added onion flavor, nice and mild, picked fresh from my garden this morning, a quarter cup of minced chives. I'm just gonna cover this bowl and put this in the refrigerator for about a half an hour and it is going to thicken up and then we're going to toss our wings. Our wings are out of the oven. They're super crispy on the outside, steaming hot, and it's time to toss them with a little bit of that wonderful cayenne honey sauce that I've made. And we're gonna do that slowly because we don't wanna drench them. We just wanna coat them. And I'm gonna start with about a half a cup, which is about four of these small ladles. Because we'll serve some more of that side. Just gonna toss them. You can hear how crispy those are. Yep, half a cup, that's about right. And I'm just gonna keep tossing these for a minute or two until the crispy skins have soaked up some of that really sweet and savory sauce. And then it's time to eat. Chicken wings, they're user friendly. All you need is your fingertips and a stack of napkins. Pick one up, give it a dip, and prepare to nibble, gnaw, and chew. Um, these wings are finger licking, lip smacking good. For these and all my recipes, just go to my website.